Hello ladies and gentlemen watching at home. As you can tell these are the planter boxes that Carl has planted a few different things in. Um, we've realized that the radishes grow incredibly well for the microgreens so we decided to line each box with just a thin layer of microgreens of the radishes so that he can come through here and harvest them for his little nibbles. Um, I think our plan is to do that with each box. Line them uh, just on the outer perimeter right here with radishes. See the snails are destroying the marigolds. There's one marigold going. The blooms are there but without the leaf structure um, they, they don't have the strength to bloom. This is Mark's little pet project here over at lot one. He uh, Before he started his own lot this was his little corner that he was building up to do really good and he's got his flowers in there and I would only let him plant edible flowers of course because that's what we love and uh now he's coming over today today's uh what's today's date there mark the 10th, the 10th. it's the 10th yeah okay and what you got you're planting in there today well um i can't help but correct you oh manibu florist winds um i'll have to look into these uh the marigolds are edible yes and what I'm going to be planting today is very edible, yes. Um, the surrounding plants that are poking out of the ground are called ixias. Oh, I thought that was grass that had just grown up. No, this is ixia starts here. Ixia starts, huh? And I'm not sure about ixias. They have a wonderful fragrance, but I'm not sure about their edibility. Okay, um, well, we're going to we'll look those up and see what happens to them. Yeah, Google them up. <laughs> But meanwhile, I'm going to do some transplanting. Um, I think this marigold's going to move over to the lower level, and my edible flower garden here is. I can going see to some borage there. It looks like. I think we got some cilantro. Yeah, that's some borage right there. Uh huh. This stuff is so good. I think so there's good. some basil in there somewhere, isn't there? Yeah. Looks like it anyway. Hmm. Oh, whoa. Well. Yeah, your borage is growing next to some chives because cucumber should not go with onion. No! <laughs> yeah. That, that's a little interesting <laughs> taste there, Mark. Okay, well, we just thought oh, we'd yeah. show you. Now, you started this why, Mark? Well, um, this can was the first can used on this property in this church as a smudging can before we entered the sweat lodge that we had uh, for the first three years here. Um, in time, like all cans, it rusted out, the bottom fell out, and it had to be replaced. Um, it was just tossed aside, like it was gonna get thrown away. And I had to stop and question that. Something that was used so specifically in a religious way, in a good way, of cleansing people before they entered a house of prayer, well, it was just gonna get thrown away? Couldn't let that happen. So here it is. Sorry, it, elders. This, this is our meditation area, and behind the meditation area sits this tin can and its little arbor, its little altar. Um, I'm honoring it up as well as I can. Here's the bottom of it to fill out. And it's just now becoming a flower pot, and we're going to keep it there and surrounded by hopefully always edible flowers. Yes. Uh, like I said, we're going to have to look into the Ixias, but I snuck one in on old Carl. He didn't see those coming. <laughs> so, uh, we'll touch base with you again soon and let you see how these other flowers are doing, and we'll let you know about the Ixias. All right. Peace. Uh -huh.